why. Hello there. <laughs> Ooh, where do I start? I them. I'm working on my nail because I broke a nail off compared to the rest. And um, I don't have time to go get it fixed at the salon. So I get to put a fake one on temporarily until I have time and funds to, there it is, go get them fixed. Anyways, so I was thinking I could talk to you while I do this. Um, let's hope so. So anyways, this video is absolutely intended for YouTube and anywhere that I feel like posting it for free because I'm not very pretty, I am not shooting any fetish other than putting a fake nail on my middle finger. But actually, I, I think I just want to vent. Um, yep, that's what I need to do. I cannot express to you how much bullshit, it's not even bullshit, so I don't want to call it that. I take it back. How much, let's see here, life-changing situation, I don't know, what have I been through? Something that's life-changing, never forgettable, unforgettable, stressful, crazy, life, unexpected. Um, and I don't even know if you're aware of what happened to last year or pretty much exactly a year ago. Uh, my mom, I have to kind of start at the beginning because it's, I think it's pretty darn relevant. But like a year ago, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. I'm the only child. So I was, um, you know, and I'm pretty darn close to her. Like, like physically close, like live nearby-ish. Um, so I was really there for her to go through the chemo and stayed in the hospital with her. Just, you know, I learned that I don't like hospitals during that experience. Luckily, wonderfully, yay, mom is re in remission and everything is healing. We're good. We, we, we got through that big old life hurdle and I hope I never have to deal with the word, the C word again. But anyways, so that's that. Everything's great, dandy. But, uh, what, what's the date? 19 days ago, I think, um, my forever partner in crime had a stroke. And um, I thought he was still drunk from the night before. And he wasn't. Like, I seriously thought he was still trash. I was like, get up. Quit messing with me. It was really... You know, and he wasn't stopped, like, I really thought he was playing a joke on me. So, and, and the joke was not ending. It was not ending. So I started out laughing, giggling, thinking he was joking. And then, here I am 19 days later, still having to figure out how to deal with um, taking care of him now that he has a stroke. Um, could be a lot worse. He could be dead. I understand that. He could be paralyzed completely. I know it could be. I know it could be so much worse. But little did I know it would be what a stroke was. Even you know, I, I just didn't know. So, you know, it left his left side. I basically this is the first time I'm leaving him alone for more than five hours. So I am going a little crazy, <laughs> and my therapy is turning the camera on and fixing my middle nail and I am gonna go um, film some things because um, I've been dealing with that luckily I'm really proactive about updating all my websites and this and that and so I but I need to film some stuff like balloon content which I don't mind it's a wonderful release of energy and therapy and every time a balloon pops it makes me smile so I think it's what I need to do, um, and also I can be productive and, you know, have videos for my websites too. So it's like a win-win. I'm bouncing all around. 
Um, so bear with me. But you know, it, so that's that. I'm at my mother's. <laughs> about to film because they're kind of on holiday, so what better place to come than I'm here to film. Um, because also, I, a few days ago, got two roommates. Oh, and in two days, my partner's mom comes from England. So we go from a two-person household to a five-person household, and it's not a very big house. So I've had to clean up the one room for his mom's visit, which is fine. And then, but then little did I realize is I'd have to clean up the other room, my model room, like where all my stuff is. Make that look empty, or empty it so two people could move in. Also then take care of my partner and also run a website or two, two of them. Oh, and I am a mother. Um, <laughs> so it's really overwhelming. But here I am, <laughs> waiting for my nail to dry so I can go film some fun stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is making me feel better. It's actually, I'm about to cry. Life is interesting. <laughs> it's just a matter of how do we get through it, you know? What what gets us over the you know the mound of anxiety and overwhelming need to care about you know everyone else and then forgetting about yourself. And I'm really trying not to. It's almost three o'clock. I finally just ate my first meal of the day. I was shaking. I had no choice. Or else I probably wouldn't have. But I am going to go pop some goddamn balloons. <laughs> and I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to smile. Oh, and then... Then I get to get some more anxiety because it's soccer mom time in about an hour and a half. So I get to do that, and that actually that really makes me forget about everything because I'm 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 kind of an aggressive soccer mom, not towards other parents, but I'm don't talk to me, don't look at me, don't even bother talking to me for that whole game because I am focused on that game, so it's fun. So I'm gonna put my frilly knickers of excitement on and my big girl panties, suck it up, move on, film some good stuff, and I appreciate you watching. Tell you what, you never know what you're going to wake up to, um, and hopefully we can all remain humble and grateful, grateful for what is in front of us, because it could definitely be a lot worse, for sure. I think my nail is dry. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. And uh, maybe I'll try to push record once again once I'm done filming some fun things and let's see how my attitude has changed. Because um, I really want to work. I really want to film. I really, really, it's a passion of mine. So, sorry. Let's get to it though. I need to put a face on. I need to get a shower. You're going to. I'm going to push record for that too. And um, let's do this. See you later.